SCTV now takes you live via satellite to Tokyo for the Tim Ishimuni Show. Konnichiwa. I'm Tim Ishimuni, your host. And for those of you just joining us live around the world by satellite, Orikato, or welcome to the Tim Ishimuni Show. Joining me today in the last half hour is a very special guest, one of Japan's biggest stars. Will you welcome, please, Goga? <laughs> Grogan, can you hear me okay? Uh, yes, I can, Tim. Can, can you hear me? Yes, I can, Grogan. And we can thank our compact computer, Dolby Express, from the Minabusu Company for that. <laughs> They're very good people. Yes, they are, Grogan. Grogan, question. What about radioactivity? Not really a problem for me anymore, Tim. You see, uh, as a result of uh, an unauthorized nuclear test, uh, I was awoken from a two million year sleep. And it's really worn off now. I'm walking around the earth. Uh, I'm fine. I'm feeling good. Uh, and as I understand um, the, the nature of the isotope and the fusion half-life elements, uh, seven years is more than adequate for decontamination, you understand? Boy, Grogan, some of our top scientists couldn't spit out an answer like that. You must have been doing some reading, Grogan. <laughs> Grogan, what about your inquisible lust to destroy and stomp on us. Well, that's why I wrote the book, uh, Tim, to, to show people that I'm not as violent as everyone thinks I am or, or was. And uh, if we could get on to talking about that, uh, Tim. But, but, Gruger, what about your irrational need to crush everything small? But I don't. That's the whole point. That's the whole point of me writing the book, Tim, was to explain that fact to people. Gruger, don't crush me. No, no. I'm not crushing you, Tim. Oh, uh, OK. If you were going to crush me, how would you do it? Well, if I were, and, and I would never do that, that's the point I'm trying to get across, I would never crush anyone smaller than me. I guess, uh, you know, I'd put my foot out here to try to scare you first, and then uh, uh, oh, down slowly uh, and try to crush you. Help me! Help me! I'm not going to hurt you, though, Tim. Shoot hey, at him! What are these guys doing here? Destroy him! Hey, go on! Tim, get, the, get him out of here! Okay! Get out or I'll crush a lot of you! Go! Dismiss! I swear to treat a guest, Mr. Mooney. That was exciting, huh, folks? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Question. What? What do you hate the most? What really bugs you? Other than talk shows? <laughs> talk show! A joke! <laughs> oh, <damn> funny, Grogan. <laughs> well, I suppose power lines. Power lines really uh, tick me off. Well, why don't you just crush them? <laughs> 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 You. Grogan, please, I asked a friend of mine, a pilot, if he would fly his plane into the studio. No. Would you please, for the audience, crush it? Oh, uh, Tim, I thought we were going to talk about my book. We'll get to the book later, but come on, everybody, you want to see Grogan crush it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but just one, just one. Okay, wait, Grogan. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, he said he would do it. Okay, hurry up. We're just about out of time. Well, I'd like to thank the pilot, Miro Ubutsu. We're going to be sending a cassette of this show to his wife. Also, Grogan, thank you very much for coming. Everybody, well, thank Grogan. You. Thank you for having me. Thank you, everyone. You can get a copy of Grogan's book, Don't Get Mad, Get Even, at every local store. I happen to have a copy of that right here. Uh... You do, Grogan? Yeah. Well, give it to me. OK. Ah! Well, good night. 